Rule-breaking adventurers who end up needing rescues have to pay for the public resources. Whether it's a helicopter or a boat, for years first responders insisted their services remain free. But as our Jolani Martinez reports tonight, something has changed. Jolani? Some firefighters say maybe it's time to start charging people who don't follow the rules and end up in trouble. Tonight, we have new numbers on how much taxpayers have been coughing up to save them. Something's got to change. You know, if people aren't going to learn, then, you know, then we got to try and do something else. The head of the firefighters union says it's time to buck tradition and consider charging people for air rescues like this one this afternoon at the haiku stairs, which is off limits, which means a hiker was trespassing. The Honolulu Fire Department says it costs about $2,500 an hour to fly its chopper and the typical airlift takes two hours. Those rescues add up. HFD says it's conducted 40 rescues at Cocoa Head over the past two years. That's $100,000. But despite the union's openness to start charging people, the fire department opposes a bill to allow agencies to seek reimbursement. And so does the Honolulu Police Department. For me, it would be, I would have to calculate overtime costs, helicopter costs, gas, fuel, maintenance. It's just a bunch of things that right now it's, it's and we are not only unable to calculate, but we would also be unable to um, accept uh, payment for it. Oahu's volunteer search and rescue organization is also against the bill, saying it could backfire. It can cause them maybe not to call for help when they really need it initially, which can lead to much worse outcomes as things deteriorate. And that's bad for them and also can be hazardous for the rescuers who are now putting But my response to that is that goes against everything that is common sense. If you are in dire need, if you're having a heart attack, or if you have a broken leg and you just cannot get back on the trail, I don't think anyone is going to second guess, well, you know, do I need to get make that call? Senator Glenn Wakai says Hawaii should join six other states to try to recoup search and rescue costs, especially for people who ignore warning signs, leave a trail to get to a prohibited area, or go on an illegal hike. The firefighters union says it's time to stop giving those people a free pass. That our firefighters will find a way, no matter how dangerous it is to try and help. And like I said, that is the fear. But at the same time, you know, somehow we have to modify this behavior of people disregarding the law. The states that have passed a similar law include Idaho, Maine, New Hampshire, Oregon, South Dakota, and Vermont. Jelani Martinez, Hawaii News Now.